In this video, I'm going to show you how to automatically add a checklist to a card when it's moved into a specific list. So I'm just going to use this board as an example. Firstly, to do that, you need to actually create a checklist. So I'm just going to create, I'm just going to um, add a card here at the bottom of my recipe ideas. I'm going to add a card and I'm going to call it recipe checklist. All right, what we're going to do now is we're going to add a checklist. We're going to call it recipe checklist. And there we go. So now I can add item. So um, I don't know, for instance, um, check recipe or grocery list. OK. Day of uh, meal prep. Make sure you know what time you need to start cooking. I mean, this is just like literally off the top of my head. Um, wash, prep the edges in advance. Um, I don't know, clean down all surfaces. Ugh. You know, you can, you can, basically I used, I don't use checklists for this. I use checklists for my business processes, but because I've got various bits of confidential information on my business boards, I don't want to share a checklist on there. So I'm just sort of making it as a random checklist here, but we've got a che checklist and it's called the recipe checklist. Okay. So now what we've got, we've got our checklist. So now we can actually automate this. So what I want to do is when I add a new card to say my my Monday list, it automatically adds that checklist to it. So what you do, go to automation, go to rules. And I am going to create a rule. First of all, we have to add a trigger and then we can add the action. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say when a card is added to Monday. So that's my trigger. So I'm going to click the plus button here. Now I need to have the action. I have to choose an action in order for that trigger to work, to, to, to be performed when that trigger is, is triggered, as it were. So I'm going to go to checklists here. And I am going to add the checklist name. In fact, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add, I'm going to get the um, web address of that particular checklist. Sometimes it will work this way. Sometimes you actually need to get the web, um, the web address. I'm okay. Let's see if it goes here. Recipe checklist. I'm going to uh, to the card new renamed. Don't need to do that. So essentially, when a card is added to the list Monday. The add the recipe checklist automatically to the card. So let's see if that works. And we'll save that. And if not, I'll show you how to get the um, checklist web address. Sometimes if this is running a bit slow or if your internet connection is slow, um, it can take a while for that rule to actually be applied and you can end up playing around with it and it can take a long, long time. So I'm going to move the never ending meringue tart. I'm gonna copy that into Monday and we'll see if it adds that checklist. I'm gonna copy it into Monday, create card. Okay, now let's see, it has, you can see here, so here you've got naught out of four. That means that checklist has been applied. So here we go. I've automatically got that and I can check these off as I work my way through. I can add an item if I want to. I can hide checked items if I want to, or I can just uncheck them if I realize I need to do a few, you know, I've checked it by accident. Now, if you wanted to get the web address of that checklist, all you need to do is go down to where the checklist is that you've created. And up in the URL, in your Google search bar at the top, it gives you Trello.com. I have got my floating toolbar there, Trello.com, and then all these letters, 213 recipe checklist. So you would literally just copy that and you would paste that into that rule when we created it. So if I go into, let me just, sorry, I've just come out of that checklist. I just copy that checklist. So when I was in that rule, I'm just gonna go into my automation. It's, that's the one. I, I could edit it. 
And so it's this bit that I want to change. So add the recipe checklist to the card. I'm just going to delete that. We're going to go back to checklist. And here I'm going to, instead of writing the checklist name, I'm just going to put the link there and then add that. Oops, I do need to write the checklist name. Uh, recipe checklist to the card and save. And we'll just perform that again, just to make sure that it's working. So if I add slow cooked shredded beef ragu, so I'm gonna copy that to my Monday. Create card. And you can see that checklist has been added. Here we go. So it's just a really easy way. If you need to automate some of your processes, if you're sharing particular things with a team and they're not quite sure of what, you know, what to do at various stages of the business process or whatever process you're using your Trello boards for. Um, whenever like, I take on a new uh, customer, I follow a very specific checklist to make sure that I'm giving them the maximum value and that I don't miss anything. So that includes adding them to like my getting started right email, sending them a personalized message to make sure that they've got what they need. Um, and then another one two days later to make sure that they found what they need to find and that they've got started properly. I then after a week, I send them out um, a thank you note. Um, after, you know, another four to six months, I'll be, or after another week, I'm checking in and four to six months, you know, I'm just sort of building that relationship and making sure that I'm giving people really good service when they join my online health and fitness group. So that's what I use checklists for. And then when I take on a new team member, they have access to like our group board and then they're able to see, ah, that's what the checklist is. That's what I need to do. And, you know, it makes it very, very clear to them how to proceed and that they don't they don't miss out on anything that's uh, vitally important when we're bringing on new new people into our online fit groups because um we obviously want to give them an excellent experience so hope that's helped um please if you wouldn't mind either give me a thumbs up or uh, hit the subscribe button if you don't want to miss future uh, trello tutorials i have got an entire playlist of everything that i encounter while i'm working with trello so if you want to uh, get quick access to that look up to the top right now and uh, you can click that and it will take you to my full trello playlist so thanks very much for your time and hope you have a great day